This is Ling Qi, uh, brush painting for beginners. Uh, today we're going to do a purple uh, primrose. And primrose usually is like a bush and the flower is pretty small on the top and then the plant, <clears throat> the leaves on the bottom and, uh, and then you have all these stem like a uh, highway. <coughs> Lead the flower into the the leaf, <clears throat> I'm eliminated all that stem, which is very hard to connect and look good. So I'm <clears throat> showing off this composition for the flower with leaf and just <clears throat> eliminate all that highway type of stem. And uh, the flower has three directions. One, one like a little bit diagonal to the uh, to the left and then one complete to the left kind of droopy down and then one to the right and um, <coughs> you have to notice the leaves on this plant that is pretty uh, is bigger than the flower so this composition show the leaves bigger and then i'm going to paint on double sham paper Double Shen Premium or J Play. When uh, <clears throat> I was at a one twelfth cut, is the size. And then the brush I'm going to use for the flower, I choose to use <clears throat> the Lotus Petal Brush. I tried the, to use the. You can also use the our OAS Flow then you can see that your flower is going to be smaller and then consequently your leaf will be uh, smaller and then the leaves i'm going to use either full lotus brush or this large full moon brush that so it's a big brush and then the center i use happy done i'm introduced a new palette to you by Kiritaki. This is a 36 color set. Uh, I have, I'm have. i very familiar with this palette. I have tried to use it for a very long time and um, I we finally has bought some for our customers because um, the supply issue of all different <coughs> sources of other colors. So this seems very stable and has a lot of uh, choices. And uh, tomorrow, uh, January 13th, 2023, we'll have a virtual office hour. And then we'll talk about different color options that you can choose. And then we'll cover more in this, um, in this subject. On this palette, then uh, I will introduce the red shade later on. Today is some, focus on the blue shade and then uh, oh the purple shade and then they also have blue shade options <coughs> so um to start we will start with the water uh with the flower and so make sure your <coughs> brush is the the body is pretty dry and then your tip wet. So you can see I'm only wet the tip about 
one six. Oh, I forgot. We also are going to use some uh, best bottle ink. <clears throat> On the tip, we will tip the white in the palette. And then, um, Carmine. And then I rinse the tip off. So again, remember, don't dunk the whole brush. So only your tip. And then there's two purples. Um, this is a little bit on the red shade. That's my first look. Then I'm going to have the blue shade of purple. If you don't have this palette, you definitely can use the uh, companion set. Um, there is carmine, there's a white, and then I will use the purple on the companion set and then the blue. So the first flower is tilting to the upper left. So this gives <coughs> give me a little V curve here for the center of the flower to sit. And then the side petal. So this is, is um, U shape. So this flower has six petals. So uh, one, two, three. So then <clears throat> I use my happy doll for the center. So I first touch white. And two shades of yellow. A little bit vermilion top. Dark purple. So this is the first flower. The second flower is tilted to the left downwards. Rinse it off more. I reload my white and carmine. 
and then I rinsed the tip. So this will give a um, softer purple. So the center is here, so um, make sure you paddle all toward the center. Again, happy doll, white with yellow. Add a little bit of red, um, vermilion. Then I'll fill it in with some darker purple here. So this one this way, one that way. And then the third one is here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm loading two purples and blend. This one, I'm hoping to do it darker because this one is closer to me. Happy dog with white, two shade of yellow. So I add a little bit orange vermilion in the center. All right, so now three <coughs> flower, two or three directions. The green is, I would like you to pay a little bit more attention to it. <coughs> For <coughs> forever, people want to know. <coughs> they don't want to mix indigo with yellow. That's still the best solution to get a more natural um green but i'm going to show you how to do the green from this palette so i will low the green with a little white and with a little brown and then blend again green with navy indigo, white, and brown. So, so the leaf is big, so you want to make sure your uh, brush is fully loaded, loaded, and um, I 
Okay, and then we're going to connect the I use the same brush and then this time I'm adding more blue to, uh, white to it so it will be a, like a light purple that's where I'm going to connect the flower with the leaves and then um, this last one, then I'm going to have to do it later. So again, this is a darker leaf. So I have green with indigo and blend. I'll add a little purple to it. White. Brown. So then, I have my ink here, this best bottle ink. So I have this leaves, it's from here on. Mixing the color to show you again, green, indigo, a little white, a little brown, mix, and with the ink. So then I'm connecting this with the leaves here. So like this, it's going to connect with this leaf. And then dark shade leaves on this side. And that finish this composition for the primrose.